In this video, we're going to talk about bleed. Bleed when it comes to print design. So a very common issue I see a lot of new designers make is they'll create and design documents, but they'll miss bleed marks. Now, bleed marks are really essential because they can help ensure that when we send off our pieces to be commercially printed, having bleed is going to help make sure that our colors or our full images extend all the way to the edge of the page because what usually happens when we send something off to commercial printing is our printer will be mass producing our design so that means maybe i'm doing this magazine they may, might be printing you know 500 copies of this magazine or more and when they do that they're actually printing these pages on sheets of paper that are larger than the actual page size and then those pages get cut down to be the intended size. So we need something called bleed to help make sure there's no room for error. Because when we're mass printing all of these pages or all of these designs, sometimes the printer will be slightly off. And if that happens and we don't have bleed, we might end up with like a white sliver along the edge of our page, which can look really unprofessional um, and we don't want that. So very important that we set up bleed marks. And let me show you how to do that. In InDesign, you're going to go File, Document Setup, and then right down here, you'll find a little area called Bleed and Slug. In this, you'll go into Bleed and enter 0.125. That's the industry standard. Because it's linked, it's automatically going to update along every edge of my page, and I can hit OK. Now look what that did. That just added this red border here. Now that red border, that red outline, is our bleed marks, our bleed line. So if I click on this color block, for example, and I extend it all the way up to my bleed, now we are good to go. So if there's a little bit of a um, printer error, anything like that, it is going to make sure that it is red all the way up to the edge of my page. And of course, this applies for photos, text, anything at all that you want to extend to that edge. So all the others look good. Um, so that's really it. That's how we would set up our bleed. Now to export it, let me show you what that would look like. We would go up to File, Export. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose Adobe PDF Print. We'll just name this Magazine Example. Ooh, errors are spelling. All right. And then in Marks and Bleeds, we're going to go up here and choose uh, Crop Marks and Bleed Marks. I'll show you what those look like in a bit. And then right under here, under bleed and slug, make sure this is checked off, okay? Use document bleed settings. That's going to make sure that our industry standard 0.125, those settings that we had applied earlier, are applied to this final export. All right, I'll click export. And then there we have it. So now we can kind of see where our bleed marks are and then where our crop marks are. So where that printer should be cutting it, okay? All right, so that is a quick rundown on how to use Bleed in InDesign. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions for me, please drop them down below in the comments. Um, if you find these tutorials helpful and you want to see more, um, please feel free to subscribe and reach out. I would love to hear anything else you guys would like to see. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.